Hello, I'm Borut. I come from Croatia. My friend Rocco and I are in the Školska Knjiga Kro team. We compete in the Robo Cup in the rescue line category. Our mentor is Ivica Kolaric, but you also may know him as Uito. We have been doing robotics for more than six years and we have participated in many competitions. Last year we were in Sydney at the World Cup and we won second place in the individual category and first place in the super teams along with the Swedish team. This year we qualified for the World Cup in France and we worked all year on the new robot and prepared for the competition. Last year we made a robot for the World Cup in Sydney. The disadvantages of that robot were that he had a lot of wires and the sensors always kept switching off. He also had trouble with going up and down the ramp. This year we went to the Zagreb Open in two different teams with two different robots. My robot won first place and we used its design to make the new robot for the World Cup. Its disadvantages were that it did not have a well sold line following and some of its line sensors didn't work. Rocco's robot followed the line very well, but his robot couldn't go up and down the ramp and he didn't solve the creation zone because he didn't have a handle to catch the victims. We merged our robots and made a robot that can follow the line and save the victims. Our robot is completely 3D printed. Even the wheels were printed as a mold and we poured silicon into them. We drew the robot design in the online program Tinkercad. The robot is assembled with plastic and metal screws, nuts and spacers. The robot has four continuous rotation servo motors to drive the robot, one servo motor to raise the handle, two servo motors to open and close the arms, one micro servo to sort the balls and two servo motors to open and close the basket door. We have created an innovative design of the hand that allows us to catch victims with the help of a light barrier and obstacles won't enter the hand and bother us. We also have four buttons on the handle that detect the walls of the evacuation zone and we have distance sensors that show us the distance of the walls from the robot. The robot is powered by a TNC 3.6 microcontroller. An improvement this year is that for the first time ever we have made a printed circuit board, PCB for short, that has all the components on it. We designed two PCB boards, one for the front of the robot, the other for the back of the robot, because the battery is in the middle of the robot. Servo motors are plugged into the PCB directly and they have a special regulator to prevent them from drawing too much current. The battery is connected to a regulator that regulates the voltage to 5 volts. On the PCB we have an IMU, that stands for compass, accelerometer and gyroscope in one sensor. We always had problems with the IMU because it was crashing the robot all the time. That is why this year we made a PCB on which the IMU is directly soldered and so it will never crash the robot. We also have one button to start the robot. On the robot we have 5 LiDAR sensors and 8 infrared distance sensors for orientation in the evacuation zone. We have an open MV camera connected via UART to the TNC 3.6 with which we recognize the rescue kit and the victims. We have a voltmeter 
that shows us the battery voltage. On the handle we have a light barrier consisting of an LED diode and a photosensor. It is used to detect the victims. When the ball enters the handle, the light is blocked and the photosensor reads it. We also have four buttons on the handle to detect the wall and the black cord. On the handle is also an infrared reflecting sensor that detects whether the victim is alive or dead. We used to have two aluminum foils that when connected they conducted electricity and that's how we used to recognize live and dead victims. These aluminum foils used to peel off and sometimes did not recognize live and dead victims. That's why we have improved that this year by putting a sensor instead of foils. To follow the line we use 10 infrared reflecting sensors and 2 Adafruit color sensors to detect green dots. We have an 8x8 RGB display that is used for debugging. When the robot is not working, the display prints something and we know in which part of the program the error occurred. The battery is a Turnigy 2000 mAh battery that has two cells. We programmed the robot in Visual Studio Community 2019 and in Arduino IDE. We use C++ programming language. We programmed the camera in the OpenMV IDE using MicroPython. The robot follows the line with PID algorithm and detects the obstacle in front of it with a front LiDAR sensor. When the robot reads the intersection, it inspects the green dot with color sensors. If the camera detects the rescue kit, it sends a signal to the TNC 3.6 which then picks it up. When it detects the evacuation zone, the camera finds the victims, puts the live victims in the right column of the basket and the dead ones in the left. He then takes them to the black corner, leaves them there and looks for the exit from the evacuation zone and continues to follow the line. When the robot sees the red color below him, he knows that he has reached the end of the and stands for 10 seconds. Thank you for watching this video and we hope to see you next year.